Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at the unit tangent vector. To a curve described as a vector um, uh, parametric vector equation. Um, okay, so what is it? Unit tangent? Well, that's just the tangent vector to the curve of length one. Now, how would we compute this? Well, simply we know that the vector that's tangent to this can be given by the derivative of r, which we'll call v. Then if you take v here and you just make it a unit vector, that's going to be what we're gonna call the unit tangent vector. And I'll just call it t, but just a capital T, but let's, no, it's a function of t here, but maybe notationally for now, I'll just write t to signify that. So t represents the unit tangent vector. Now, kind of interesting with this um, unit tangent vector, which we can compute by just taking the derivative and dividing by, by its magnitude. Um, what happens when we take the derivative of that unit tangent vector? what ends up happening? Well, we know something about t. It has a constant length. In fact, and it's a length one. So when you project it onto itself, you should always get one, right? And since it says unit, and since t has a length one, projection is simply dot product. So the dot product should always be just a constant. In fact, it should be a constant one. Now, let's take the derivative of this equation. On this side, we're going to get zero. On this side, we use the product rule with the dot product. And we end up getting dt dt dot t plus t dot dt dt. In other words, and we get the same thing twice, so we can just double it. Two dt dt dot t is equal to zero. Dot product equaling zero means orthogonal. That is, dt dt actually is orthogonal to the unit to the unit tangent vector itself. This is kind of nice, and we'll investigate this in later in later videos. But this gives us a way of thinking when the curve when we have a curve, we have a kind of, we can think of a plane that the curve is sitting in momentarily, where dt dt and t make up a plane that the curve is momentarily in. And we can study that curve and get information about the path of travel. And we'll be talking about that, like I said, in another, in another video. Thanks for watching.